Louis bag box. So first stop, and look at this guys, sunglass cases, we got some SPF 15, I'm going to take this whole box right here. And all this stuff is new. Um, are there, how many of them, there's a bunch of them? A bag full of those. Um, <clears throat> it's all brand new stuff, dude. I need to get a knife. Cut these boxes open. Huh? What's up? Tell me if you're carrying my knife. No. Look at this. Dude, looks like all brand new. This is all brand new stuff. Oh, look at that torch fuel. Yeah. Man, pillows, dude. These are brand new pillows. A little table. Man, we might be done with our first truck. Got my buddy Chris with me today. And this is the first street we came down. And I'm going to say right now, he's a good luck charm. Bunch of clothes. Dang. I mean, oh, wow, dude. This is nice stuff right here. glass lanterns okay if you look at the boxes some of them are labeled on the side glass lanterns these are all from Walmart too yeah oh, looks, man, fishing pole brand new Yep, look at these. I don't know, man. These are Jordans, dude. Air Jordans. I'm gonna take this bag. Oh, go ahead and throw it up back there. More glass lanterns. Dog barking. What's that? New shoes. Dang. <laughs> Brand new. Wow. Hey. A whole box full. Wow. You know what's funny, Chris? I never come down the street. I was like, man, me neither. I never come down the street. Or <laughs> basket. Let's 
this. <clears throat> Some kind of bags. Dude. What's up, man? Pokemon? Pokemon cards. Wow, look at that, guys. Pokemon cards. Just take the whole bag, bro. Man, it's got some liquid in the bottom. Is it? Oh, yeah. dang it. Okay, we'll be careful. I'll take it, man. It's the same bag as the shoes. What's in here? Some more glass lanterns. So you can see, I got my spare tire set up on there. We got a new box on here. All right. Some more water gun stuff. More baskets. A bunch of posters. I'm gonna take them. I don't know what kind of posters are in here. I'm gonna take them. Got tags on them. What's that? Clothes? Yeah. Man, look at that. This one's torn, so I'm not gonna take down. Here's another pillow. Yeah, let's put that tag on us too. There's too much to know, to know what to do with, man. Uh, got you got room? Got room. <laughs> what is all this? Little garden signs. Huh? Yeah. There's some more stuff in there, too. I've got this one. More glass lanterns. Wow. This is probably the best score in one spot that I've ever come across, to be honest with you guys. Because, um, this is all brand new merchandise. Alright, what's in there? Junk? Yeah, those are the plastic bins. No, nah, I don't want the plastic bands. Put those back. Yeah. All right. Swimming pools. This one's ripped. Oh no, that one's ripped. Yeah, but that one's stained. All right. How are we looking? Bins. These are all these bins, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. You good? It's a golf club. Good pot. Oh wow. Broke. No, it's not broke. It's just full of junk. Dump all this stuff in here. You want these goggles? Uh, those look rough. Yeah, they look like they're old. And the trash sticks. Mm. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna keep these Barbies. Bobby just said. Dump that. Is it? Uh, yeah, some will buy it. We'll fix it up. A little $10 bill.
calm down. This might be interesting bag to go through. and I almost passed them up and I'm curious to see what they are. Kind of neat, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Some kind of museum posters. I'm going to grab them just in case. Yeah. Grab that guy. That is an interesting piece right here. Looks like it's missing some stuff. But, um, definitely can work with it. Do you? Yeah. Well, there you go. All right, so here we got a Ryobi pole saw. What do we got? Damn, look at that. Still. Still. Man. Change that to That's a, what, a couple hundred bucks? At least. Wow. Yeah, take that, man. Might as well take this one too, man. I bet it works. You probably just need to oil it up. Oh, look at that. See in the little box? Yep. Yeah. There's like a little Santa Claus. There's this guy here. What is this? I think it's one of those things where you put your finger on it and it shoots a little. Okay, yep. Yeah. I guess it's battery operated. Yeah. We'll put that in there for me, please. Well. 
missing the top piece. It's missing that top piece, so I'll take it. We got some fly around over here. Look at that. It's Ryobi Weed Eater with a bunch of attachments. Dang, look at this, guys. Yeah. Grab. Yeah, go ahead. So, we're doing pretty good today. Let this truck go by real quick. Grab all that stuff right there, dude. Ooh, this guy, look at this. Oh, I'm turning on. Sorry. The baseball bat right here. Okay. Check it out. Oh man. It's never been an accident just Dude, you don't want to have the shells. Oh, right there. Is that what you need? Yes. <laughs> Check this out. Wow, that's, that's old school right there. That's cool. I will take the bump too. Okay. I definitely need um the bookcases. Um okay, so put them just, like on the very back? Yeah. Little we'll nothing else. This is your time. This time is strange for sure. You think it'll work? Look at that. You got yeah, but sometimes. I'll take it. Yeah. If it don't work, man, I'll uh, scrap it. Yeah. It's gonna be some good copper in that one. A little jewelry box. You can grab this, man. Even if you like donate it to a church or something, you know what I mean? They use this kind of... Huh? Let's just stuff this stuff in. There's a paper. This. What? What was that show called? With the sharks like this? 
Uh, I don't remember. These are collectible over here, big time. That sure might be some more in there. Wow, that's cool. Um, it's good looking land. Nice, they have another skateboard. Very cool. Find the bowl. The bowls of that. That'd be good. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go to the pull up bar. Stair stepper. Curious about this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's kind of sad. Someone made a story of us book in the trash I'm gonna put this back in the trash hmm. this little fishing pole holder kind of cute a couple things that y'all missed um, I didn't even know what these were but uh, these are some dog bed crates that Chris saw on the way out. Um, he also picked this guy up. He knows a guy who buys lawnmowers. He picked this guy up in a submersible pump. Um, he likes to get that kind of stuff and he sells it pretty quickly. So, man, look at that. So we made it home, man. I gotta say, this is probably one of the best nights I've had in a very, very long time. Very long time. Um, just gotta give you guys an idea of how good this night is. I mean, we got the entire trailer full. We've got the entire back of the truck bed full. 
and we've got the back of the the cabin full, the cab full. That's that's full as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm saying it again, guys. What an exciting night. I'm kind of overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I'm going to get. I know a lot of y'all asked me, how do you and Chris split up the stuff? Um, who decides what? And, um, you know, Chris has a lot of help, especially getting some of this big stuff, getting out and looking at stuff on the passenger side. Um, instead of me going around the truck, he kind of takes a look. And if he sees something good, he'll say, hey, come get off and, and uh, look at this. Uh, get your camera out. Or if it's just like a little thing that he wants to get, like a lawnmower or something, and he's like, hey, it's just a lawnmower. Let me throw it in the back of the truck real quick. So the way we split stuff up is uh, basically kind of my call. Um, I take whatever I want, just enough to, you know, pay for my gas and a little bit of the time and stuff that's small and easy to sell and it's easy to store. And I'll let him take the rest because he's got the big, gigantic warehouse. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look around and see what we got and get you an overview again. Like, for instance, all these fans, he keeps for his shop. And um, if one goes out, he just, you know, goes to recycle it. And uh, he throws in, you know, a new one. Someone made some push-up. I guess these are for push-ups, handmade. But um, we're going to go through this individually. I just want to give you an overview again through the top. All these dog beds. Uh, Chris has got, um, I want to say, three large dogs. He's got a Great Dane, he's got a Husky, and he's got like a, like a Bulldog. So he's, he keeps these in the back, uh, in, his, in his backyard, in his patio for them to lay on. Um, plus that big dog bed, that's going to be his. The, obviously the two shelves are going to be mine. And most of this bigger stuff over here, like the lawnmower, that pump, and that um, that battery charger are going to be his. So let me start taking off some of this big stuff real quick so I can make room and take a look at some of the other stuff and get to it. All right, guys, so let me do this in waves to kind of get an idea of what we got. I'm going to do it little by little because it's way too much stuff to try to do an overview all at one time. So here's the first wave of stuff. And my neighbor's about to start pressure washing his driveway. But um, these are the dog beds. As you can tell, they're like in great condition. Nothing wrong with them. Got that one. And you got this one right here. It's, it's got the foam on it. So we'll put a cover on it. Uh, make it look nice. This is actually kind of nice right there. This, if you bought this, you'd probably spend a couple hundred bucks, I think, with the cushion and it being uh, pre made like that. You got this bing bag toss, this is really cool, kind of colorful. Got a fishing pole holder, I really like this guy. I'm gonna put this guy at the booth because it's hand carved. Um, it's very nice. I think I can get more for it at the booth than I could sell it on Facebook, so kind of happy about that. I like how the hooks just kind of hold the fishing pole in, real neat piece. Yeah, I remember this jewelry box. Don't know what happened here. It kind of sucks that it's like that, but maybe I can get 10 bucks for it. Made a penny. Now I'm already looking at all the drawers. There's nothing in there. Decent looking piece. The umbrella chair. Um, I picked this up and it looked like it was in decent condition, but it's kind of rough looking and it's not solid wood. I don't think it's solid wood. I think it's that compressed stuff. So I don't know if we're going to be able to salvage this one or not. It might not be worth trying to save. But uh, I did keep all the little Barbies that were in here. It has a bunch of little mermaid Barbies. So those will those sell. I'll clean them up and they'll sell pretty well. I'll sell them all in one lot. These are the shelves that I'm going to take to my, uh, to my booth. I didn't like to. I don't like to get the darker ones because it's, it's kind of hard to see the items in there. But I bought some Christmas lights, and I'll probably line the insides with Christmas lights to kind of make it look uh, a little better. Here's a better look at this. Here's that pump that Chris is going to keep. I have some other stuff. That lawnmower. Chris will sell this lawnmower. I, I guarantee you, he'll have it sold by the end of the day for twenty bucks. It's an easy twenty dollars for him. Uh, this guy right here. This is it. A charger. Um, that's going to have around the house. 
kind of keep a battery charged. He finds batteries all the time and uses them, so he'll be able to hook this up and charge a battery and then sell the battery. Uh, that's not my gig. This is a bumper for a Jeep. It's a back bumper for a Jeep. Um, he'll be able to sell that. He's also going to keep like all this, the Ryobi uh, weed eater with all the attachments. You know, this kind of stuff that he likes to mess with and sell. And uh, he usually has buyers for this kind of stuff. So it's easy for him just to go ahead and flip it really quickly. And uh, this is actually a good one because it's all the way over. And we've got all the attachments. Even if the weed eater doesn't work, uh, the attachments will, are all worth the money. So he'll do good with this one. Uh, you see that. Pretty good finds for him. All right, let me take some more stuff out, and uh, we'll go through another way. All right, so we made a little bit of room, and I'm gonna go through some of the more stuff that we found. Got this little, um, it's like a little playhouse castle thing. I don't know who it is. It's got these little guys. It says, oh, these are VTEC. All right. So these are VTEC. That means that these are going to move around and uh, interact with that, with the uh, with the house or whatever. So I won't list this too much. Just get it moving and get it sold. Y'all saw this guy here. It comes obviously with this phone. This is a play school. I think it all comes with this phone. Oh, it might not. That's Disney. Well, we'll figure that out, but it's a little cart. Uh, the little baseball tee. Chris is going to keep this rolling cart because he needs it in the shop. And I've got, I think I've got three of them. i got two small ones and a real big one. So he asked me to have that one. I said, sure, keep this one. This is actually a really good cart right here. Good size. And um, he's also going to keep these brushes. Kind of throw those back in that corner. All right. Let's look at the stuff in some of these boxes. So in this box here, this sucker is full of clothing. Full of clothing, all brand new, never been worn, size medium. It's like a little sun, sun dress, summer dress, whatever you call these things. But this thing is packed full. Packed full, guys. And I mean packed full. All clothing. Never been worn. Each one of these has tags on it. So, these are going to be good. Another little summer dress. Summer dress or sundress? I forget what they're called. But, anyways, these are going to be good for his garage. So, if he gets a dollar, two dollars a piece in this bag alone, I don't know. I'm going to say there's 50 pieces. This, there's 50 bucks easy in here. Easy. This box was full of uh, Tiki Torch fuel. Brand new. Again, five bucks. It looks like this might have been a five or below store. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it is. It says five and below. All right, so maybe someone went dumpster diving, picked all this stuff up, and then uh, decided they couldn't sell it or whatever. But uh, I guarantee you, we're gonna sell this stuff. And uh, Chris will actually use this because he has little tiki torches in his backyard by his pool. So he might keep a few and then sell the rest. Again, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 20 of them here. If you got two dollars each one and sold them for less than half. That's you know, it's 80 bucks. No, I'm sorry, 40 bucks. Alright. These are kind of scattered, they're kind of in between different boxes. But you got these i5 water tag games. Um, you got the vest with the water gun, and you got this shield. So people can buy those as sets great for the summer a bunch of sunglasses now if you have i don't know if i'm gonna keep these for the booth i put like two dollars on each one of these put in the booth if i keep them oh look at that those are cool and there's more stuff in here like there's a bunch of these uh sunscreens these are all brand new all brand new stuff right here What's in here? More clothes? Wow, you got more clothes in here. So, 
He's not fun with all that stuff. Over here in these baskets, or these bags, we've got these, they're like a, let me put the camera down. Look at that, guys. They're picnic baskets, all woven, brand new, real nice condition. Now that was looking. Uh, this guy here is a bottle flip table. I guess if you want to practice bottle flipping, <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's still in fashion or not, but uh, we got that. Oh yeah, here's that box full of that, those shields. We got this JVC camcorder. Now, I'm kind of worried about taking this guy because it's so, I mean, the, it's so deteriorated. I know you can clean it up, but that's that stuff right there is in every nook and cranny of this camera. And I'm not sure that I want to mess with it. So I'll see if Chris wants it. And if he wants to mess with it and get it cleaned up, I'll let him sell it. Cause it's probably a good 40, $50 right here um, with that. This little table. Brand new again. Uh, this box here has got a bunch of these, and they're like, I set one up, I finally figured out what they do. And you just kind of lay down on the ground, you lay down on it, it's like a little lounge. It's for a kid, you know, they're not really high quality, but that's what it is. Just, it's like a little lounge, a little mat, and it folds up, and it goes away. And again, I've got a box full of these. See that and there's 20 of them in there so at a few bucks a pop these are these are listed at five dollars each so if you did five times 20 that's a hundred bucks if i did half i mean if you do the math it's, it's a good score oh uh, here's some more of this stuff i think this stuff moved around on me while i was um driving around so some more of these vests this is all good garage sale items because you can sell it cheap and people will buy it i don't know what this is oh uh, it wasn't wine glass there's nothing in here though bye baby there's my wife she's going to a meeting with her accounting people um Okay, got a bunch of little toys, Buffalo Bills, Browns. Okay, I'm gonna look at this one. I think Chris must have picked this box up because I don't remember this. I think I think he did. I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, let me kind of get stuff sorted out and we'll go through another wave. Okay, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. These boxes. You know, I saw this label and I thought that was Walmart. It kind of looks like their old logo. But it looks like all this stuff is five below. Yep, five below. So, they're still decent pieces. Let me show you guys what these look like. And I always had the idea of like putting Christmas decorations in these and selling them, or even just selling them as is at the booth. Of course, she's. You know, I always like the female touch. She always has such good ideas. But it's a nice little glass vase or glass little lantern. Put a candle in here. Got the rope attachment to it. Brand new with the tags. Five bucks. And I, and I think, I, I really think I can sell these for five dollars without having to discount these because these are actually really nice. So let's do some quick math here. 
Each box contains six of them. So at five dollars each, that's thirty dollars a box. That's one, two, three. That's ninety. One twenty. One fifty. One hundred fifty bucks in glass alone. And I really think I, can, I think I can ask five dollars a box for these. I mean, five dollars a jar for these are pretty easily. All right. Trash is gonna be coming by here in a minute. So what I want to do is go through some of these bags. Let me make some room and go through these bags because whatever doesn't, um, whatever's not keepable. I'm gonna go and throw in the trash. So, hang tight for some more video footage. All right, now the house that I went to, that I picked up this bag from, had this out there. Got the Louis Vuitton bag and the box. Most of y'all know these definitely sell in a for a pretty penny. And that's the reason why we got this bag because you never know what they're gonna throw away. It had some some jingling, some jangling in there. So we're gonna see some potpourri stuff. Magazines. I think these are like, I don't know. old alarm clock Emerson probably get something for that guy little Santa I don't know little jar candle holder thing maybe this is what I heard jingling jangling it's like a little necklace That might have been what I heard in there. But you never know. I'll turn my glasses so I can see a little better. There's a bunch of needles in here, like uh, little pins. Timer. Be able to use this at the booth for my Christmas lights. Get on a timer. That way they're not on all day. Alright, so this bag looks like it has some pillows. I don't know if we'll be able to do anything with this bag, but uh, I picked it up because I got these Jordans in here. And uh they're Air Jordans, man, they're really good condition. And uh, I'm gonna see, my, my daughter likes to wear Jordans. I'm gonna see if she likes them. If she likes them, she can have them. If not, um, we'll sell them. But these are really good condition shoes and uh, pretty pretty expensive, to be honest with you. So we'll give these a go. We'll see if uh, Vicky likes these. And uh, if not, it's a, good, it's a good find either way. Oh, this guy is here. A bunch of garden signs, garden stakes, homegrown, home sweet home homegrown a lot of them are the same to the garden these little cute little things you know a dollar each probably and there's oh there's a few of them here adult coloring roll okay I'll forget your name because I got a lot of people that look at stuff but there's these adult coloring rolls they come with the pins and the different designs. If you messaged me before about this kind of stuff, these are brand new. Email me, okay, email me. I know you've asked for coloring, adult coloring stuff, and I'll get these to you, okay? I told you if I find any adult coloring stuff, I'll let you have it. And uh, looks like those are the only two. Chris found that. I think I found this one. Nice little potted plant. Look at here. 
There's a bunch of clothes in here. Might be a trash can in here. Um, this is also Chris picked up. Nice belt. So yeah, this is all good garage sale stuff. I'm not pulling everything out of here because it's just clothes and blankets. Nothing really exciting. Again, Chris with the fans. <laughs> he picked up a bunch of fans uh, last night. So let me get some of the stuff out. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Brand new. Now it's not an expensive fishing pole, but still. I guarantee you put this underneath the Christmas tree for a kid. He's gonna make his day, you know what I mean? Someone who's wanted to start learning how to fish. This is a good little find, I like this. I like to find stuff like this because you can get it to someone who doesn't have a lot of money. Sell it for real cheap. I'm talking about like, I don't know, five bucks maybe. And um, this is like a great Christmas gift for someone who um, may not be able to afford to get this brand new. Because some people, I mean, 20 bucks with this might cost. Some people don't want to spend that on a fishing pole when they could, when they got groceries they got to buy, when they got electricity they got to pay for. So to get something like this for five bucks and give it to someone who's, you know, in need, this is a good find. I like finding stuff like this. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here to the last items. Someone paid $38 for this. Nice piece of home decor. This is a great find. It's a steel chainsaw. Still has compression to it. So that means that it can be fixed. It's not bound up. Uh, probably needs a carburetor change, if anything. Many times this stuff doesn't need anything. We think it might need a carburetor change. You put gas in it, clean up a little bit, and it starts right up. But uh, Chris has actually been needing a chainsaw. He had a tree fall down in his backyard. Chris has got some, if you've seen any of his videos, he's got some big trees in his yard. And um, and one of them fell down, uh, not a big one, but one of, one of the big oaky trees fell down. So he needs to cut it up and um, we'll use some firewood. But if he gets this working, man, this is, at least a 250 to 300 dollar chainsaw this is a great find great find another fan yeah let me show you some things over here real quick there's that little desk i'm not sure what kind of desk this is y'all leave in the comments let me know what kind of desk or what kind of stand or whatever this guy is because i don't know and i'm not sure how to how to advertise this but it's got like a little drawer here um i was looking to see if there's any hidden drawers but i don't see anything got this guy there this drawer pulls out i looked underneath there was nothing inside and um you got this top little section i don't know if anything went up here on top or not but it looked like it did have three of these um you could probably cut new ones out so what is this guys is this an antique it looks like an antique to me let me know in the comments i know a lot of y'all are very well versed in antiques and stuff like that let me know what this is because i have no clue and i appreciate y'all's input can you see me okay i forgot about all the stuff that was in the back seat of the truck um a bunch of new pillows all brand new let's see we had little radio uh, he really liked this radio I think he's probably gonna put it in his in his uh, in his man cave in his storage and uh, his in his shop so I'm gonna have this one this is actually a pretty cool radio it's old school um, little boom box so I'm let him keep that one I was excited to find this because I thought there were man I forgot the name of that cartoon it was, it was like shark street sharks and I thought that's what this was but apparently it's it's not a street shark I don't know, maybe DC Comics. I'll have to look it up because it might be a street shark and it's a, it's a pretty big figure. And I'll have to see what year it is. Because if this is like from original from the 90s, this could be worth some good money. So I'll look that up. This is a really cool toy. I really like this guy here. He had found a, a Husky tool bag. These are the Pumas, brand new, that we found at that other place. Had never been worn. Uh, he's going to keep these for his daughter. I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
I mean, these are in excellent condition. I mean, excellent. Obviously, they're brand new. So, let's see. Got this guy right here. It says, give thanks. I'm going to try to post this and sell this as soon as I can because Thanksgiving is literally around the corner. And I, I need to get rid of this before it's too late to sell Thanksgiving stuff. I'm um, in here. There's a, a, a Christmas decoration. We got one of these little globe thing is and i think i don't see where you put a battery or okay here we go. it needs a 12 volt thing and this is one of those things where if when you if it has like current running through it like electricity when you touch it it kind of follows your finger so that that's kind of neat all right he's probably gonna keep this for his dogs there's i guess some more clothes back over here playstation 2 game Oh, there was an uh, actual N64 game in here, too. Right here. No, GameCube. That's kind of cool, man. A GameCube game. It's Spider-Man. There's two of them. If, there, if there's anything worth money, it's going to be these that are worth money. The GameCube games. Those are pretty good sellers. And, uh, and a little knick-knack thing. I don't know, I might take that to the booth to display stuff on it. I might keep that one. But the rest... Oh, he... Sharp knew about this. I had no idea what this was. But this is a bunch of gymnastic stuff. I don't know what they're for. But he had found this at that house. And he started picking it up. I was like, I didn't even know what that was. Well, he did. Little weights for your feet. So... I'll let him keep all that stuff. There's probably like a lot of money here. Look at that. More stuff for gymnastics. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's what it's for. So, he'll do good with this stuff. Like I said, he, he, he's the one that's, that had the eye for it. So, we're going to let him keep that right there. And I think that's going to do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this stuff up. I'm going to put the stuff that I'm going to keep over there. And put all his stuff back in the trailer. He's going to take the trailer with him. Unload it at his house. And then I'm going to pick up the trailer later tonight. Because we're going to go pick him tonight again. Oh, almost forgot. How can I almost forget this guy? Look at this. These are a bunch. The posters. This is a great store right here. Riverdale, Key Art. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 20 right here. I'm going to say there's 50 in here total. Stranger Things, Stranger Things, Stranger Things, Stranger Things, Craft, Harry Potter, Spider Man, Spider Man, Rick and Morty, Lilo and Stitch. Hero Academy, Stranger Things, Harry Potter. There's a bunch of great. I don't know what this is. It says a Greta Suko horns. This, if this is. Um, Anime, the anime ones are going to be worth a lot of money. Anime is like real popular. Pikachu. Oh, wow. That's going to be worth some money. Anything. All right. So this is a really exciting box. Like I said, I bet you there's 50 in here. These are averaging between 15 to 20 bucks on average. Some of them are $10, but most of them are 15, 20 bucks. And if, um, like I said, if I can get $10 a pop on these, that's $500 in this box alone, which would make this drive, I mean, a really good drive. Probably one of the best uh, picks that I've had. Considering all the stuff that we got, the stuff that we need, the shelves, stuff that Chris needs, fans, dog beds, and all this other great stuff that we could sell. I mean, it's pretty overwhelming. I would say this is probably one of the best nights of picking that we've ever had, to be honest with you. And I'm so glad I get to share it with you guys because 
in the past before I started recording I found some really good stuff and never thought of recording this stuff and then ever since we got on YouTube you know we've had some good nights but man this is a great night these are some posters they're framed I don't know what these are about but I'll do some research on these and um, they're probably from like you know some posters that you get at a museum Museum? Yeah, I bet you anything that's from this museum. It might be French. I'm not sure. Argaskia Foto. Erika Barajona Ere. FMGB. Guggenheim. Oh, maybe it's German. Guggenheim. Belboa. Germanheim? German? Polish? I don't know. So we'll take a look at that, see what this is about. These are kind of cool. All right guys, well, what can I say? So this is the stuff I'm keeping. The stuff there, the shelves, a couple of toys, a couple of these bags, the Louis Vuitton bag. I'm obviously gonna keep and try to see if I can sell that. If, if I don't sell it, I might just give it to Tanya because uh, she sells this stuff and um, I'm Macari, I think. Bunch of posters, those glass jars, this stuff there. Um, also, a couple little things over here. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and let Chris take. So he's gonna get loaded up pretty well. All the stuff here. And uh, I got some more stuff in the backyard and the garage that I might have him take just so he can put it as a garage. So. But it's about, about three-fourths of the trailer full, which is fine with me because, like I said in the past, guys, I'm more interested in getting the video than I am selling the stuff. I do want to get some stuff, obviously, to sell, you know, make up for my gas and stuff like that. And uh, I'll do really well, like I said, with a lot of this stuff right here. Shouldn't have any issues. So Chris is a big help by taking this stuff because... Otherwise, I'd be overwhelmed with things and I wouldn't know what to do with all the stuff. I mean, obviously I have to try to sell it, but it'd be just way too much stuff to keep. And since he has the storage building, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier for him to get rid of. And then he put it as a garage sale. It just makes it so much easier for me. So um, I know some people say, oh, this is not fair. He gets most of the stuff. Trust me, it's, it's more than fair. It's more than fair. Uh, I'm happy to give it to him and he's happy to take it. So it's a win-win, two-way street here, but Wow, thank you, Father, for the many blessings. Uh, last night was a great night, Lord. I just want to thank you for making us go down the right neighborhoods, putting us in the right spots, be able to find this stuff, for keep it from going to landfill. I just want to thank you, Lord, for just continuing to watch over us. Uh, I ask, Lord, that you would that you would uh, watch over those people and uh, you know touch the heart of those people that are watching, Father, that they might get to want to know you better. Um, you know their needs, Lord. I just ask that you reach out and that you that you hear their needs, Father, and that you answer their prayers, whatever they may be. Uh, again, Father, just thank you so much for just just continue to bless us with so much stuff, Father, with for the viewers, for the subscribers, um, everything going on right now with the channel, with the booth, Lord. We just thank you so much because it's your favor and it's your blessings that just keep this alive. Uh, and it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much. Until next time. Let me know in the comments what did you guys like the best because this is this is a great find don't forget leave a comment let me know subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit subscribe it's at the bottom very easy it doesn't cost you anything until next time peace